Hello again, fellow Black Empress. Welcome back to Black Empress Oracle. I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope you're finding peace along with anything else that you need along this journey. Thank you to everyone who is a new subscriber. It's so glad. <laughs> I'm, it's so glad. I'm so glad to see you guys here. And it's so good to see you guys here. I'm already jumbling over my words. So it's already feeling like home, my loves. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. And for those of you who have been subscribed to the channel, welcome back. And we're going to go ahead and get started. First, keep in mind that these messages are general and they may not be for every Black Empress out there. So be sure to go with what you know. And remember that time is fluid. It moves like water. This could be past, present, or future energy. To anyone who is new here, this channel is dedicated specifically to my African-American feminine energies, okay? It's not to exclude anyone else. It's not, not to make anyone else feel bad. It's just something for us that is specifically catered to our individual needs, okay? So I love and appreciate all of you guys. But if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. That's my motto. But Black Empresses, let's go ahead and get to you guys. What is going on in your life? We're just going to do a message. What's going on in you guys' life? Let me know because I got the channel message for you, Divine Favor. Um, which to me says that... Ooh, and my notification just went off. So to me, this says that you are divinely favored and divinely guided, okay? There's something that you guys are um, specifically meant to be doing in this incarnation. And I feel like it's very important. I feel like the world needs your energy. The world needs your light. So you don't have to be stressed. You don't have to worry about situations. I know that you're worrying a lot for whatever reason. I feel like you, you, and, and it may not even be worry so much as uncertainty that you feel. A little bit of anxiety or anxiousness. You may feel a little antsy or as if you can't settle in because you know something is coming or you know that you're meant to be doing something. That is your divine favor speaking to you through your third eye, okay? So let's see what is your energy right now, Black Empress. Let's see how are you feeling energetically. Guardian angels, archangel spirit guides and ancestors for my Black Empresses. What is their energy right now? Let me get three cards, please. What is the energy of my Black Empresses? Imagination, exactly. Number 41. It says, imagination now sets me free. Divine ones, I send my thanks to thee. So you're getting a lot of creative ideas. I feel like your imagination is running wild as far as the things that you could be doing with your life. Y'all excuse my son in the background. He just got home from school and he's watching TV. Um, so yeah, your imagination is fueling ooh, your creativity. There's your other two. I was also getting that not only are you being very imaginative and being very creative, but you're not too much worried about how other people may be judging you. You're not worried about how other people may see you. You're only worried about this creative spark and fulfilling that. I feel like you could be a writer a poet or you do some type of creative work or you've written down your business plan in regards to what creative work you want to accomplish i also feel like you guys are in an energy of giving thanks to your spirit team at this time Ooh, we have love number one okay aphrodite i call to thee to bring a true love here to me so i do feel like you guys are Desiring for a companion, desiring for partnership, desiring for a real true connection, okay? I feel like you're in a very loving energy right now, and I feel like this is creating a lot of abundance for you. And then we have romance. Oh my God, really? Number 23, it says romance. It is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. So you guys are really summoning, and I heard the word summoning specifically, so I feel like you guys are really summoning a divine counterpart, your divine counterpart, someone who is truly what you would desire in a partner. 
someone who you feel like you would enjoy to be around, but that would also like fulfill certain parts of your life. Not that you need someone or not that you feel that you need someone, but it's more so everyone needs a companion. Like everyone needs somebody to talk to at some point or another. It would be a very lonely, docile life if it was just us. So we, we as humans, you know, or as souls living this human experience, companionship is something that is preferred, okay, and desired. And I feel like that's what you're calling in. At the bottom, we have knowledge, okay, which is number 28. Let me connect above and below. Let the knowledge of ancestors flow. So I feel like you're feeling the need to gain information. Whatever it is that you're planning on doing, whatever it is that you want to do, I feel like you're feeling the need to gain as much information about that particular subject as possible, okay? If you're trying to accomplish opening and running a business, you're researching that. If you're, <clears throat> if you are working to uh, network, you're you're trying to research the be best way to do that. Network and marketing. There's a, uh, it's like it looks like the Aladdin bottle on that card, the knowledge card. Like there's a genie around you. There's a genie around you. Hey, Gabe, can you just quiet down a little bit more for mommy? Okay, thank you. Use your inside voice, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, so I feel like you guys are really trying to gather your thoughts and gather. Ooh, and creativity is right up under this one. Look. Creativity. I knew you were gaining. I knew you were gaining some type of knowledge about a creative project, and that's why I feel like the message was divine favor. Because whatever it is that you're working on, or whatever it is that you wanted to work on, I feel like you're meant to do it. I feel like if you've been procrastinating, or if you've been second guessing yourself, that should stop. Okay. I told y'all I'm not sugarcoating things over here. We're just going to read the cards as they come. These cards right here are called the Silver Witchcraft Tarot. So they're a bit different, okay? They're they're a bit, I guess, eclectic. But we're going to see what the message is for divine favor. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, for my black empresses. Thank you for bringing them and I together. Protect us as I complete this reading. What is the message in regards to divine favor for my black empresses? Hmm. I just heard who may very well be oracles themselves. What is the message? Oh my God. Where did it go? Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh shit. That was really loud. I'm so sorry if you had headphones on. But look at the card. Empress. The Empress. Wow. I feel like you feel a connection to your divine counterpart because she's looking to her. She's looking to her left. It may look like the right because on your side, the camera, but in the actual, well, she is looking to the right. I'm sorry. Like it's my right, her left. So your right, her left. She's looking that way because this little ribbon is attached to her. A soul tie, which is what it looks like. And the Empress card is what makes the other pair. I mean, the Emperor card. I'm sorry. I don't know what the fuck. I feel like you've been making my mouth. I feel like you've been making, um, you've been playing both the masculine and feminine roles in your life. But I feel like a lot of you guys are ready for a partner. I feel like uh, this bird, this eagle, what it appears to be. I feel like this bird is um, your spirit guide speaking to you. I feel like you're becoming illuminated. The sun is shining on you. I feel like you're very fertile as well because the rabbits are there. Um, you, I feel like you've got a quick mind. You're quick witted. I feel like you may be sarcastic at times, but it's like playful banter. And I feel like you are the type of person who 
um, you want somebody, you want somebody intellectually connected to you as well, not just physically or emotionally, you want mental connection as well. I feel like you've had a lot of growth in your life. You've grown a lot and you have a lot of abundance around you. That's what I was feeling when I saw the imagination card and the love card and the sun is in the background. I feel like you, you are becoming illuminated to your divine counterpart. And I really did not intend on this channel, Black Empress, being a channel about like <sighs> divine counterparts, okay? I did not intend on that, but that is, seems to be kind of like the messages that's been coming out. I feel like you're being prepared or um, trained to handle your divine counterpart. You know, like when they have movies and TV shows about, you know, princesses being trained to be queens, that type of energy. Your whole life has brought you to this point where you've been trained to be this very classy, elegant, regal character. And that's why you have this crown, okay? You're not alone, though, okay, in this journey. People are going to start discovering you. And that means all types of people. Everyone is about to start discovering you. You may have noticed recently that you got a lot of riffraff flowing in. Like, in terms of maybe, like, dates or partners, or friends, platonic or romantic, or professional, either way. But I feel like you have a lot of riffraff flowing in. And I feel like what that is about is because you're becoming illuminated to all things. Just because you're being noticed and recognized by the good people doesn't mean the bad people don't see you. Or just because you're being noticed by the, the ones who are, have awakened does not mean that you are not noticed by the lower vibrational entities as well. So I feel like that's why you have this bird here as a spirit guide guiding you. You're on a platform. So so you could have some type of platform, whether it be a social media platform or a platform in your career. Um, you are at an elevated level. You have elevated to a specific level. And I feel like it's caused you to be very fertile. You're very fertile physically, but I feel like you're also... With this imagination card above this card, you're very fertile with ideas. And that's causing you to be seen. What else? That's why you have divine favor. Okay, the hermit. Wow. All major arcana so far, Black Empresses. This is great. So we have Taurus energy. Maybe Libra. And we also have Virgo here with the hermit. This person is also... Um, raised on a platform i'm pretty sure most all of the major arcanas are on a specific platform i feel like this is because there's been a certain amount of knowledge gained especially with this um hermit card i feel like you're looking at a teacher or you're looking at a very wise individual you could be watching this person on tv on youtube on um a streaming platform I feel like this person is very well versed in like, I want to say hermetics, spell work, medical like things. I'm not saying that this, this is, this could be a doctor as well. You could have been, you could have just gone to the doctor recently or you're planning on going to the doctor. Maybe some of you found out you were pregnant recently. Um, but if that's not the case, you just are very fertile with ideas. And it's like with this hermit, even if you're not watching someone or you don't have a specific teacher, you're not in school, this could just be you observing all of the things that you've learned because you're looking right here at the hermit. So you're observing all of the things that you've learned possibly about love and what love really means in this incarnation to you, what love really means in this world, what family stands for, what relationships really stand for. Virgo energy is out here now. But I feel like you are discovering the light within yourself, divine favor. You're actually discovering and realizing that you have this divine favor, that you're a very old soul. I feel like you've known this your whole life, but you're actually paying attention to it now, or you're actually mastering 
some skills that you may have suppressed for a long time. This could have came after you had children. Maybe you're already a mother. Maybe you are pregnant right now. Or maybe you would like to have children at some time in your life. Okay? If not, you just want to be very creative and you want to build things for yourself, for your life, for your family legacy, for your for the legacy of your name, your namesake. And you're focusing on education and knowledge right now. Okay? I don't think you're talking to a lot of people. I feel like you are learning about love or observing. You're in more of a, you, of course, you're in a hermit mode. But I feel you're in a hermit mode, kind of isolated um, from, you know, civilization or society on some level. Or you isolate yourself and create a boundary between you and other people. And I feel like that's because you're taking time to really... Um, you're taking time to really observe your relationships of the past, observe where you may have uh, been able to show some improvement or observe the things that you appreciated, your likes, your dislikes, what you want in a spouse, what you want in a partner. You could even be writing these things down. Some of you are just going to get a checkup to make sure everything is on the up and up. Um, maybe you were dealing with a few people lately and you just want to make sure that your you know body is in order. Um, you're being responsible, you're being very wise right now. And I feel like you're just taking stock of where you've been in regards to like love in your life. And you're using those pieces of information to evolve and move forward to the next level of your life, whether it be any type of relationship, like I said, platonic or romantic. Oh, this one wanted to flip out. Five of Pentacles, yeah, but you feel like there's a lack of romance right now. You don't really, I don't know. It's it's kind of as if with the Five of Pentacles, this is how it looks. I'll hold up the Hermit as well. I'm getting strong Taurus energy. I'm getting like Taurus and Virgo energy, not very much Libra, but I would say Taurus and Virgo with the Five of Pentacles, Hermit and the Empress. I feel like you're learning how to hold back from people or you're learning how to create um, healthy boundaries between you and other people. You're trying to observe and learn how much you really truly have to give and how much you need to keep hidden for yourself. I feel like this is like I see these two women on this card as being you like the old version of you and the new updated version, you're a lot wiser, okay? I feel like this is like the tree of life behind you, but I'm, you know, I feel like it's glowing. That's very interesting. I feel like you're connected to source. Like if that were to be the tree of life, just say the artist intended it to be that. That's what it looks like to me. And I feel like it's rooted in the water and you're standing in the water and the tree is glowing. I feel like you're in, and the, the, the webs, it's like you're connected to, to the eternal source of life. And it's telling you that right now you may need to hold back from, from relationships, from love, from romance and learn a few lessons about your experiences. Divine favor. I feel like that also is basically saying that you can't just mate with anybody right now because you have a divine bloodline. You have divine favor. Listen, I love my kids, but I made it down. I, I really, I really made it down. Okay. Love my kids to death, but I made it down. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with that because it doesn't change who your children are going to become. They're their own people. But that's what I feel. That's what I'm getting from this energy is like your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors do not want you to make down. They want you to learn about even if you've already had children, they want you to create. I feel like a seed with someone who is of a higher caliber. And it's like, that's why some of you could be even like abstinent right now. Um, you could be being cel celibate right now. And you're really protecting your womb, I feel. 
I feel like you're not in the mood to help anybody. I really feel like this Five of Pentacles energy is um, you being unwilling to kind of be a Captain save a ho okay? To anybody. You being unwilling to have to pull somebody up by the gutter. You being a ride or die. Whatever the fuck you want to call that shit, you're not down for that shit. You want somebody to be doing the same energy work, investing in themselves the same way as you are so that you guys can come together and be elevated. You don't want somebody who you got to come and pull out the gutter. <laughs> Point blank fucking period. So where do we start? I feel like the five of pentacles. Yeah, ace of chalices, the ace of cups. You could feel like there's a lack of love around you. I feel like you could be feeling very emotional because you have to pull back from certain people. Um, I feel like you feel these emotions at nighttime or you feel the most, I'm going to say it and you can get mad if you want, but I feel like you feel the most lonely or the most isolated at nighttime. You could cry. You could cry. I feel like you could be crying. I feel like you don't want to. But it's like you're going through the stages. Like the moon is full in the card at the top. But if you look in the water, just like on the face of the like cards, you see the three stages of the moon. So it's like you're going through like, and then the five of pentacles is here. So you could be going through the five stages of grief in regards to a relationship that maybe has ended right now. In regards to... uh a change that you had to make. You may have had to stop talking to somebody. Not that you didn't love them, but they were just below your caliber. And I don't want anybody to get offended, but there's just some people who you cannot mate with. And I feel like y'all are thinking about your future. Y'all are thinking about creation in all forms of your life. And even if you're not having a physical baby, if you're with somebody who is... If you're if you're if you're severely out of somebody's league and they're not willing to come up to your level, then you're doing yourself a disservice. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Why do you think royal people don't mate with other regular people, okay? Because they know that it's a specific uh set of requirements to be able to connect bloodlines, okay? Because they have a different bloodline apparently, right? So that doesn't mean that they're not royal people in average bloodlines. It means that if you know you are a person who is intended and meant to do more in your life, you're automatically going to get a human response, a, phys a physiological response in your body that tells you that somebody is not, is not worthy of you, okay? And that's what I feel. You've been dealing with some people who are not worthy of you. You've been dealing with some people who always need help. They always need you to solve their problems. Mentally, they are not on the same wavelength as you. And it doesn't mean they're bad people. It just means that they ain't fucking meant for you. So you've had to cut those people out of your life. And I feel like it's caused you to be a little emotional, okay? Three of chalices. Okay, so I feel like you are, you could be learning from a Virgo Cancer, wait, yeah, you could be learning from somebody who has like a Cancer Moon, Virgo Sun. This could be your teacher, your professor, your educator, or one of your spirit guides. Um, this could also be you as well, very knowledgeable. You could be a teacher yourself, um, but I feel like you're learning how to celebrate Three of chalices, which is the three of cups. You're learning how to celebrate. I just heard you're learning how to celebrate the moon cycles. Some of you could be abstaining from sex because you've just recently gotten your cycle. Okay. You're learning to celebrate your cycle. It's like you're always happy because it, it keeps you closer to the tree of life. It keeps you closer to source. It... It reassures you when everything else might be uncertain. And I know that might sound strange, but like really I've enjoyed like having my cycle. My cycle, like we literally just had, didn't we just have a new moon? Like, okay, by the time you see this, it might be later. But by, as I'm recording this, we had we just had a new moon, I think. And oh my God, was it Sagittarius or 
I don't know. It was just a new moon. But it's like my cycle came right when the moon was like full. It was like a full moon or a new moon. Four of Pentacles and the title card. Yeah, I really feel like you're learning self-control. You're learning boundaries. I really feel as if you're learning how to meditate. And then it's like when you do, it's like you, you mind your business. You stay inside, you meditate, you light your candles, you light your sage, your incense, you, you charge your crystals, you work to get whatever you need to get done. Some of you guys are mothers, so you do what you have to do in that department. And it's like everything that you've learned about life and about love, it's like you're very happy that you've learned it because now it's caused you to be able to really like connect with your spirituality, connect with your psyche, okay, with this title card, connect with your higher self. And I feel like you're really happy about the lessons that you had to learn. You're not bitter, when a lot of people might want to say that you're bitter, it's like you're not bitter. You're just cautious and observant and kind of at peace because you already know kind of what the situation is about. You know, you know exactly like what everything was meant for and why you had to deal with it. Oh my God. And the moon again. Cancer energy is super strong. Like you could be a Cancer, a Taurus, or a Virgo. The moon. Some of you could be secretly, you know, wanting a child or secretly pregnant right now. It's something about the moon cycles. It's something about your cycle. Either you didn't have a cycle and... You're finding out that you're pregnant and you're happy about it, but you're going to keep it a secret or you're happy that your cycle came. So now you can kind of like cut people off a little bit and get yourself back together. Okay. You know, like regroup, especially if you've been like going on dates or you've been out there. I feel like you're kind of like taking a break from that and recharging your batteries. Yeah, the seven of pentacles, two of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like if you did have a pregnancy scare, you were not sure if you were going to be expecting. But I feel like after a long wait, you know, you may have found out that, you know, you're not pregnant. So you could be happy about that. Um, whatever you learned, you're happy about it. So it doesn't matter if it's one way or the other. Some of you found out after a long wait that you were pregnant and maybe at first you weren't happy about it, but now you are two of Pentacles, seven of Pentacles, but either way, you're happy about whatever the outcome is. I feel like for those of you who are not dealing with like pregnancy and children, you really have a new idea of something that you've been working on. I feel like you've been growing your business at night or you've been reading books at night that kind of um, propel your spiritual practice forward. And divine favor, I feel like that's why you're being drawn to these pieces of knowledge, these um, articles, these books, these, you know, maybe YouTube videos or informational pieces, um, podcasts. You've been drawn to this information by your spirit guides. And I feel like you maybe watch something before you go to bed or you read something that helps you grow before you go to bed or you write your business plan or your schedule for the next day. But all of these things, it's like you're doing in secret. You're growing secretly. Okay, you're growing into this empress. Secretly, the Knight of Pentacles, yes, yeah, slowly but surely. You're investing in yourself. I feel like you're also, I feel like you have hidden desires and emotions. I feel like you have dreams. You want things. The devil is at the bottom and the three of swords is at the back. Yeah, but I feel like you're slowly like healing from emotions of love and heartbreak where you felt a loss, where you've lost love, right? Right. 
So you're, you're, you're slowly but surely healing and learning the value of the lessons that you had to learn in these relationships because it's helping you like master your, your shadow side. It's helping you master the dark parts of yourself. So if you got broken up with, cheated on, lied to, left behind, whatever the fuck it is, you're basically sitting here feeling heartbroken, but also feeling inspired. I feel like you're shedding tears. That is a, that's a form of cleansing. Your your the knowledge that you're gaining, knowledge in the hermit card. You're learning about what love really is and the type of love you really want. And the reason why you were heartbroken in the past is because you were dealing with toxic situations. Or situations where it was like self um like self deprivation. Like there were situations I feel that you were putting yourself in with people who did not appreciate you. And it was like you were self-sabotaging by dealing with those particular people and those relationships. And now it's like you're you're smarter than ever. You can spot a fucking narcissist from a mile away. You can spot a sociopath from a mile away. You can smell a cheater in the next room and you don't even have to be in there, right? And I feel like you're you're like fuck yeah. Now ain't nobody gonna be able to play me. Now, now I'm gonna be able to. Now I'm gonna be able to move freely. I'm not saying that you'll never get hurt, but it's like you feel a lot stronger. You feel a lot more well equipped for any obstacle or challenge that may come your way, especially in regards to love and relationships. Page of Cups again with the three moons. One, two, three. Okay. There's something about the number three, because we just saw the three of swords. We have the three of cups and we have three of these um, moon cycles now. I feel like um, the page of cups with the three of cups. I feel like you're learning how happy you can be alone, honestly. I feel like you're learning how you don't have to always be at a party or a club or on a date to feel fulfilled. I feel like you're learning like to do things that you love on your own or like your spirit guides are in the water with you. Okay, these little water nymphs. It's like you're you're really in touch with your inner emotions. And it's like if you don't have a date or if you don't have somewhere to go or if, you know, you don't have friends to go out with, you're like, okay, you're at this point, you're kind of like, that's cool. I would prefer it that way because bitches are fake as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not trying to be rude, but it's like, as women, we got a lot of shit we got to work on. And this is a part of the reason why I'm doing this channel. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of great women out there who would be Im amazing to hang out with. And some of you are those women. But it's like the connecting, the part about connecting with those women has been difficult. Um, and I feel like you're learning about certain friendships in your life. That's why I said the people who you are separating yourself from are not just romantic partners. These are business partners. Okay, platonic partners, family members, and romantic relationships that you've had. Some of you could have gotten pregnant and then your friends group kind of abandoned you. Some of you may feel abandoned because all of your friends have had kids and you haven't. Okay. And the devil is at the bottom again with the seven of wands. Yeah, but I feel like no matter what you're doing, whether it be platonic, professional, or romantic relationships, you're blocking out the devil. Fuck that shit. You're you're blocking out the devil. You're standing your ground against the devil. You're not going to allow negative situations into your life. Even if you may have had friends who apologize to you or like maybe you and your friends been into it and y'all tried to patch things up. You, it's like you were genuine about patching things up, but it's like at that point, 
it's kind of a situation where just because we patch things up don't mean we have to hang out. <laughs> okay, bitch? Like, just because we cool or we, we you know, dapped it up or whatever, we hugged each other, shook hands, and said, I forgive you, don't mean I'm going to still be your friend. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean that I'm going to still hang out with you because I feel like... Either people are leeching off of you, Black Empress, and you need your space and your boundaries. Or there is some type of difference between you and the friend group. Like, this lady whose face you can see, she looks pregnant. The other ones do not. So it's like, maybe you found out you were pregnant and your friends didn't, they weren't very supportive. Or, you know, maybe you found out that you know, I don't know, maybe, okay, so maybe you found out you were pregnant and your friends weren't that supportive. If that's not the case, you could already have children and your friends don't, and you feel separated from them, okay? Or some of you don't have any children at all and your friends do, like I said. But it's like, you're not gonna rush into anything. You're not gonna rush into any any type of lifestyle or any way of living just because somebody else is doing it. And I feel like that's the type of people who you were dating or that's the type of people who you were hanging out with. People who don't think about their actions before they take them. People who will do anything to get what they want, but it's like they don't have a soul or something like that. People who fall for anything because they don't stand for nothing. And I feel like you're like, okay, at this point, I'm good being on my own. You're, it's like you're celebrating being alone. You're celebrating being happy. Um, maybe people have called you naive in the past, but I really feel like you're very wise with this hermit card, but you also have a, a very innocent, jovial spirit. Even though you're very wise, it's like that's the wisdom. You've learned how to have an innocent, jovial spirit, still being open to love, still showing compassion, you know, for other people, but also being very wise as well and seeing things for what they truly are. It's like you're secretly very strong and wise. Okay. And very balanced. So you have it. Yeah. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. We saw the seven of wands and the seven of Pentacles now. So I feel like you were warned by your spirit guides um, or your spirit team. You were warned by them. Gabriel, you still in here? I'm going to turn the TV down one more because they was loud. But I feel like you were warned by your spirit guides to stop investing in a certain relationship or situation, platonic or romantic or both, because there was something new coming. I feel like you were being made to go into hermit mode by your spirit team and you listened and you were happy when you did so. You separated your energy you stopped investing into things that were not yielding you any type of return. And it's, it, it helped you to develop a stronger love for yourself with this Ace of Cups. You're starting to finally love yourself. That's what this um, channel is about. It's not about petty shit. We might touch on what's going on around you. But like a lot of these readings are probably going to be more spiritual. So if you're called to this reading and you've watched this entire reading, you literally have divine favor. Your spirit team is like, it's, your spirit team is like a literal, like militia force driving you towards your ultimate goal. I really feel like you guys want a true, genuine love, love card and the Ace of Cups. And I feel like that's what you've been waiting on. And I feel that you're about to be given this. And, and it's like, it's going to really help you to solidify the lessons that you've already learned and observed within yourself. So this love that's about to come in, it's about to be like, it's, it's about to be even greater than what you imagine. I feel like you're imagining a love and romance that you want, but based on what you've learned in the past, that's the type of love and romance that you want. But I feel like you're about to be given something like, it's going to be that, but it's going to be like even more powerful than what you ever even imagined. But it's like you had to cut off certain people, places, things, situations. 
I really feel like you, uh, you either are doing this already, you did it already, or you're about to do this. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords, exactly. You're being guided. Look, and the Knight of Chalices, which is the Knight of Cups. It's like you're being guided by your spirit guides to this particular Knight of Cups. To this, maybe water sign. I'm really getting like cancer energy really strongly here with the moon and the Three of Cups and the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups. But water energy is really strong. So I'm getting cancer, but also Pisces and Scorpio is out here as well, along with Virgo and Taurus. Aquarius with the Six of Swords. Yeah. I feel like you're being guided to someone who is very attractive. They're also guided by water, I feel. Or they have a strong water placement in their chart. They could be a Pisces as well because of the rainbow. And then the waterfall could indicate that this is going to happen sooner than later. Some of you could be moving to a new city, state, or zip code, a new country even for some of you guys. There could be a lot of waterfalls in nature or a lot of water, nature, greenery, forests, things like that. And I feel like you're being guided that way. I feel like you might have at least one child with this page of cups, page of chalices, I'm sorry, and the um, child in this card. You may be going with one of your children. You, some of you, I mean, some of you, this person could even be someone who you meet and then you move with them, but there's a major move that's going on. Like there's a major change. I feel like in your emotions, they're starting, it's like your emo, and then there's another moon cycle. They have the same, they're, they're in tune with the moon as well. This person is in tune with the moon and you're in tune with the moon. I feel like this page of cups might be you as well. And this person may be a little bit older than you, but not too much. Like you might have been a kid when they were a teenager or something like that. But I feel like you're either going to move and meet this person and you're guided to move so you can meet this person or you're going to meet this person and y'all are going to move forward together. That is interesting. Let's do some advice cards for you, Black Empress. We're keeping it simple this time. We're going to do some angel answers for the advice, guardian angels, archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors. Father, Mother, God, thank you for your blessings. You just have to remember, Black Empress, that you have divine favor. So if somebody is not willing to treat you in this, this is the first fucking card out, bro. I mean, I mean, it just, it baffled. That's why I screamed because it was like baffling. Black Empress Oracle and the Empress card is the first card out. I feel like people have taken a long time to really notice your power, but it's starting to be illuminated. You're starting to be illuminated. You're starting to stand out. I feel like a lot of people are going to want to help you. I feel like a lot of new people are going to fall in love with you. It's just a matter of time. And I feel like time is closing in very quickly. All right. So what's the advice for my black empresses? Guardian angel, archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors, father, mother, God. What is the advice? Oh, my goodness. I, I'm telling you, in the near future... And at the bottom, we have a year from now. So timing <laughs> to the spirit world is not the same as timing for humans. So we're going <laughs> to, in the human body. So we're going to read in the near future, just so you know what's going on. But it says in the near future. So you could be moving in the near future and you're going to meet somebody or you're meeting someone in the near future that you're going to end up you know, being in a relationship with a year from now or 
being together with a year from now. I feel I see the word the world right here. So like by the time your next birthday comes around or this time next year, you could definitely be in a relationship, but you're about to meet this person in the near future. So it says, what are you asking? Sorry. It says what you are asking about will occur very soon. So you won't have to wait much longer. Stay optimistic and continue upon your current current path. You might be taking a bath, okay? Or you're going to be taking a bath soon. Be open to receiving, okay? So it says it's going to happen before you know it very soon. So be open to receiving it. And I feel like, you know, I feel like you guys feel this coming. You feel this love approaching you or you feel this relationship or this new experience because it doesn't even have to be love of a person. It could just be a new business or a new idea that you're going to be able to elaborate on and grow. And it's going it, this opportunity is going to come to you sooner than later. So I feel like you guys know this and you've been preparing. And if not, that's what you need to be doing. Okay. So I'm very, I, my mouth is fucked up. I don't know what the planets are doing right now, but I am very proud of you, my fellow black empresses. I hope you're enjoying the content. Please be sure to leave your comments below to let me know if this resonated with you guys. Um, as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to check out any of my other featured channels. And remember, you know, like, share, and subscribe if you like what you see. And just be, okay? Bye.